Today on the workshop, we're talking about fixing slipping pegs. Hi everyone, my name is Aaron Johnson. I'm here with Char Music, and today we're going to be talking about how to fix slipping pegs. The tools we'll be using today are a regular soft cloth, a paper towel, a pencil, any pencil is fine, and then this item here, which is peg compound. I'll leave a link in the description to show you guys what this is. First thing we're gonna do is we are going to go ahead and loosen that stuck peg. For some pegs, this can be a challenge if they're really stuck, but don't be afraid to apply a significant amount of force to pop that peg loose. Worst case scenario is you'll break your peg and then have to take it to a repair shop anyway. But most of the time, these pegs will just pop loose and then you can completely remove the string and go ahead and set that aside. At this point, you'll wanna take your cloth and slide it underneath the tailpiece, just like so, so that the instrument is nice and protected in case it gets bumped while you do this procedure. Now that we're here, go ahead and pull out your peg completely. It's only held in the peg box by tension. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for two shiny strips on the peg. This is the area where the peg is making contact with the peg box wall. Using your peg compound, which looks a little bit like lipstick, you're gonna brace your peg on a surface, ideally the table you're working on, and then using the peg compound in some downward strokes, you're gonna put a series of hash marks onto each of those shiny strips around the peg. Once that's completed, it should look something like that. And we will go ahead and then reinsert that peg into the peg box. Give it a little turn. At this point, since the string is off the instrument, we'll take our pencil, any pencil is fine, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna color some graphite into the bridge groove and into the nut groove. The graphite acts as a dry lubricant and it's gonna protect the string as it gets stretched over the two grooves. And then it's also gonna make it so your bridge can stay more upright and not be as prone to getting pulled towards your fingerboard. Now, when you go to reinsert your string, you wanna make one thing that I find to be easy. You'll usually have a bent end of the string like this. I find it helpful to go ahead and straighten that out before you try to restring the instrument and make it so you have about an inch pointing off of the end of your fingers. To wind the string properly, once you have that string inserted in that hole in the peg, you're gonna wind one time on the skinny side of the peg, and then as you come around, you will cross over and start winding toward the thick side of the peg. And then you'll finish out the winding that way. So it'll look like that when you're done. Again, we wanna make sure that we're in both of those grooves. And then you can put a little pressure into the peg box wall as you turn to seat the peg. At this point, go ahead and check your bridge and make sure that it is, the back of the bridge is at 90 degrees to the face of the instrument. If you notice the bridge leaning forward toward the fingerboard, go ahead and gently push the bridge back so that the feet of the instrument lay firmly on the face of the instrument, or the feet of the bridge lay firmly on the face of the instrument. At this point, you can bring the instrument up to tune. And with that, we remove the cloth, and you should be all set. The string should be firmly attached down here at the tailpiece, crossing over the bridge, crossing over the nut, and nicely wound around the peg up here. With that, you should have a instrument with your strings all tuned, and that peg that was troublesome should be turning smoothly and freely at this point. Now, if you still have a peg that either is slipping continually, even with the peg compound, you might find you need to use um, peg drops to solve that issue or take your instrument into a luthier. But I hope you found this video helpful. And if you like the content, please subscribe to our channel, give us a like, and we'll see you next time on the workshop.